So chances are, if you're watching this video, you just bought your Sony APS-C camera and you want to learn the absolute basics. In this video, I'm going to cover just the basics so you're not completely overwhelmed, but I'm going to give you enough information to like kind of get started and start learning. I'm going to be showcasing the A6000, but this is applicable to pretty much any Sony camera. So let's get right into it. So assuming you've never used a camera before, let's go over the body. Your camera might be slightly different, but like I said, most Sony cameras are pretty much the same. So first up, we have the shutter button on the front. We have a playback icon here, the mode dial on the top, two little dials on the back and the top right, and then a couple of other buttons like the flash pop-up, the menu button, and so on and so forth. So to actually get started using this thing, you're going to take your SD card and put it in the slot. It can be a little bit finicky to get in there. And then you're going to slot your battery in, just match up the pins inside, pretty easy stuff. If the camera didn't come with the lens mounted, you're going to look on the back of the lens and you'll see either a little red or white dot here. And then you're going to line that up with the dot on the camera mount here, or the lens mount. Slot it in, twist, lock into place. Now to take a picture, you're going to press the shutter button on the top here, half A. That's going to focus. And then you completely press it in and it'll take the picture, as you can hear. And then to preview it, you go to the back here, you hit the little playback icon, and then you can just spin this little dial on the back to go through the photos. It's that easy. And now let's talk about the mode dial. That's this little thing on the top. This lets you select kind of that shooting mode your camera's in. I'll have codes linked on the top of the screen here that go into more detail on each, but let's just jump through them. So first up, we've got the automatic modes. This means the camera will adjust everything for you. Every single setting, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, it'll even pop up the flash for you if it needs it. Um, and then next up, you have P mode. That stands for program. You can adjust certain settings in this, but it is still controlled most things automatically. Next up, A mode stands for aperture priority. That lets you adjust the aperture, aka the amount of background blur or bokeh or out of focus, you know, aesthetic. And then the S right here, that stands for subscribe. Nah, I'm just playing, you should subscribe, but it stands for shutter priority, which lets you adjust just the shutter speed and the camera controls everything else automatically. M stands for manual control, that lets you adjust everything, every single setting manually. I would not suggest it for a beginner, but it is a good thing to learn in the future. And then finally you have movie mode, that's pretty self-explanatory, you just flip it to that if you wanna shoot video. So now that you know the absolute basics, that's next. So I would suggest shooting in one of the non-automatic modes. P is pretty easy, program, but I would suggest A for aperture priority. You'll get a sort of basic understanding of how to, you know, knock out the background and what changing aperture does. Play with S mode a little bit, you know, etc. I would suggest not using the complete automatic modes because, you know, you're low in composition, but you're not gonna learn how to actually use your camera and adjust the settings. Beyond that, just go outside, practice composition, photograph everything, you know, get your friends together, play with settings, see what changes when you photograph them with like, you know, F13 versus F2, stuff like that. And then as far as lenses go, uh, if you, you know, keep learning photography, you're going to find that a lot of people just say like, upgrade your lens, upgrade your camera, upgrade everything. I'd suggest hanging on to the kit lens, that's the lens that came with your camera. Hang on to that for quite a long time, like maybe a couple of months. Learn the limitations of it, figure out the basics, and it, uh, you know, the younger you stay with this basic lens, the better of an idea you'll have on which you eventually want to upgrade to. And then finally, now that you, you know, bought your camera, check out my channel. I've got literally dozens of guides on how to use Sony cameras. I got a nice little playlist that I linked to on the top here. So go check that out. Consider subscribing for me. Drop a like. And if you have any questions, please, you know, drop a comment. Ask me. I've had this camera for, I think, six years now, so I can answer pretty much any questions you might have. Thank you guys, and have a great day.